What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're taking a look at Absolver, which is going to be kind of like a Dark Souls-esque fighting game. Uh, if you ever wanted like a, it's a, it's a punch-up game, but at the same time it's very combo-based. It's very much trying to mix kind of action RPG with almost like Street Fighter. It's a very unique game. I had the chance to play it when I was at Twitch, or I'm sorry, not at Twitch, when I was at PAX East. I had a chance to meet the developers. I played the game for about an hour at their little station. I broke their headphones. Well, I almost broke their headphones. They probably remember me from that. But anyways, don't break developers' headphones. Although they were very gracious about it. They were like, oh, cool, it's fine. They weren't broken. Like, they still work. I think they still worked. I'm kind of stuck on this. It's one of those things I greatly regret in my life. I, I didn't want to break the Absolver developer's headphones. It just kind of happened. All right? It just sort of happened. It was one of those things. I was in the heat of the moment. I had to fight. It was fight or flight, and unfortunately, the headphones had to go so that I could survive. But it takes place in a weird world where you're going to punch everything to death that gets in your way, and other people can invade your world, and you can fight with them and do all kinds of fun stuff. So without further ado, let's check out some Absolver. It's going to connect to the server. We're going to go new game, and then our origin can be from the ice marches, from the orate. I don't know what the orate is. We can be from the tear. We can be from Yuring. We can be from Lake Ripa. We can be from Karshi, or we can be from... Okay, so I'm going to be from... Let's be from Lake Ripa. Lake Ripa sounds dope, and it makes me sound like I'm going to be good at fighting. I don't know. We're from a place called Ripa. Fine by me. We've got a haircut here that we can go with. Come on. we got to have something sicker than these haircuts. i got to have like a... Hmm... I guess I'll go with, like, some brush cut works. I'll take that. And then hair color, we can kind of mix that up however we want. I'm going to stick with black for right now. Let's go next. And then combat style. We can be Forsaken. We can be the Cult Method. Or we can be, ooh, Windfall seems pretty dope. He's got, like, that stance right there where, like, five guys are going to run up on him in the movie. And he's like, I don't want to fight you. And they'll be like, well, this fight is inevitable. And he's like, very well. And he does like that slow thing where he slides his foot and he's like, Whoa. he goes into a horse stance. And then he's like, Shoo! and then he puts his hands up like into this final pose right here. Oh, yeah. Is there anything else? Okay, so for sake, I'm going to go with windfall because it looks dope. That's pretty much And so we can do our active ability. It's called avoid. We avoid and slow down an attack. Let's go ahead and do that. And our name, it will not be Absolver. Our name is going to be Pringle Puncher. There we go. Because once you pop, you just can't stop. This episode brought to you by Pringles. That's not so bad. I thought we were going to end up some ways way worse. I thought there was going to be a lot more fire and like sconces and like, I don't know. I thought it was going to be a lot scarier, but this place doesn't seem so bad. Uh, so we've got the ability to punch for right now. There it is. Oh, we can do like little kick moves too. Kick move. Ha ha. Kick move. I'm going to kick move a guy. He's going to get it so hard right now. It looks like shift is going to be our block key and then space is going to be our dodge and my assumption is that we're going to lock onto enemies as we find them if there's anybody even up here do i have my mask on right now good i gotta have my protective face mask on otherwise i'm not being a good kung fu artist uh, is there anything to the left over here no not really the plains of adal dude i don't want to get invaded right now is somebody going to try and attack me oh shit oh so there we go are these like training dummies what's up with these okay so let's see what's going on here so right click looks like it's a power hit I don't know what's that little meter down there. Ah, uh, it looks like to chain your moves. 
I think you're supposed to be as close to the mark as possible. I think. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go along, but I'll go ahead and unlock that enemy right there. We've got some learning to do. I think we should probably find... Oh, there's some dudes over here. They look a little bit zombied out. Should we fight them? I think we should fight them. Let's go fight them. That's my first instinct when I see a zombie. Let's fight it. We got an attack sequence here. So I'm going to be like, bap, 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 bap. Oh, got him. Combo. Get him. It looks like you get like a little yellow marking around your fist if you're getting it close enough to the... I guess I vanquished them. I don't know if we're being sent to like a secret realm where all this stuff... Can I break these walls right here? They look kind of breakable. I don't know. Hmm. I don't see any loot. Who is this dude over here? So we've got a combat deck. So it looks like we can swap between these decks. So we've got Q, E, Z, and C. So with Q... Oh yeah, I forgot about this. So you've got different stances. Your different stances allow you to trigger different moves. And those moves are on cards that go into... It's a very complicated system. Like seriously, it's crazy complicated. I was playing around with it at PAX. And, like, you, you swap stances, and certain stances are strong against other stances, and the stances mostly, though, dictate what your combos do. So, for example, I might left-click a bunch of times uh, with my current stance, which is in the bottom right quadrant, and then when I swap to this one right here, the same clicks will do different moves, and it's a way for the player to set up combos that they like to throw the opponent off so that they don't know what's coming. It's very kind of unique. We also have alternate attacks, which is like that one right there where I can just drop the hammer on dude. There it is. Get it. Ooh, getting in there, causing pain, getting drama for yo mama. So alternative attacks change your stance. Oh, that's what it is. You can see that down below. It is changing my stance so that I can do that without having to press any buttons. Okay. So that stance right there is going to take me in. Ah, okay. I got you. Cool. Sounds good to me. Let's continue onwards. I think we've basically figured out what we wanted to figure out here. Some attacks will have a special property. Oh, I got to break the door. Ah, there it is. It was telling me to go to that quadrant. Okay, I was looking for it elsewhere. And then guard is going to be left shift. Let's go ahead and block this lady. Here we go. Here we go. Now, here we go. Throw down time. Oh, you ain't got nothing I ain't seen before. Blocking all day long. Yep, get back in here. Oh, what's that with the retaliatory fire? Get some. Yep. And then I'm going to like pair. Oh, I saw that one coming. See, I knew they were going to throw the dodge out. I turned my back on you. Woo. Oh, you ain't got nothing to show me. You ain't got nothing to show me. Let's get it. Ooh, power move. Power move. Power move. Got him. See, when the enemy's block happy, you just got to hit him with some power moves, man. You got to just go heels and elbows with a go Muay Thai. That's what I used to do when I was a kid. We used to have Muay Thai uh, boxing matches. My buddy's dad ran a, a dojo. And every Friday night, all the neighborhood kids would go over to their house and they would have a ring set up in the backyard. We put on all the, the gear, like the gloves and the helmet and everything. And his dad would give free lessons to the kids in the neighborhood. On like Muay Thai. It was pretty sweet, man. It was good. I think it's good. I think everybody should learn in some way to self-defend. Like, I think it's a good idea. Who do I want first? Who do I want first? Here we go. I'm going in on you. I want you. I want you right now. Get some. Oh, I'm going those heavy combos. Heavy in this beast. Oh, I saw that kick coming. I saw that kick coming. Oh, I didn't see that punch coming, though. Damn. Took that one right to the dome. Oh, I tried to get it with that big kick right there. I tried real hard, but it didn't happen. Ooh, yes, with that impact. Get him. This lady doesn't want to know. Get it, lady. Get it. Oh, and now, oh, she tried to run away. I saw that right there. Cowardice. Unacceptable. Ow. How are you going to kick me and run away? What kind of shenanigans is this? Kick me and run away. Ooh, I, you see that right there? I phased out of existence for a second because I, ooh. Because I timed it just right. Ow, I want to time it just right again, but I don't want to get kicked anymore. Come on. Ah, never mind. I'll just knock her out. It's fine. So do I get, like, XP or anything? Like, I wonder if I'm working towards anything right now. Yep, there's my dodge right there. I am quite aware of the dodge. I do like playing this a lot better on a keyboard and mouse than I did playing it on a controller. On a controller, I don't know. I get all... I don't know what to call it. I get all molasses brained on a controller. Like, it's bad. You've got, like, a thing right here. What does this do? So there's a door right here, and the door is saying, find and defeat Ceylon. All right, let's go fight Ceylon. I guess it's time for a Ceylon day. We're going to get our nails did, go get our toes clean. I don't think anybody here is going to be friendly. I thought for a second maybe he might be friendly, but he wasn't. I was like, well, maybe he wants to hang out with me. Like, maybe he's looking at these rocks over here, so he's a fellow geologist. He's like, oh, look at this little bit of plagiarism clays in here. And I'd be like, oh, cool. We have common ground. Let us ally against the common enemy who tries to destroy us. You first, red shirt. You first. Oh, I got the blocks up. 
Uh, I was going to try and dodge out of the way of that one, but I was too slow. There we go. Combo straight in. Oh, with that overhead kick. What was that? What? With that aerial roundhouse kick. What an ass whooping. That dude took it. That lady, she got it. And so it looks like we can go through with attribute points. So strength is about the energy of body and mind for maximal power. So that increases the strength of attacks. That's dexterity-based attacks. That's our vitality and our health. That's going to be our stamina. That's going to be our willpower and our mobility. I'm going to stick with dexterity since apparently that's our main stat. So we'll go in on dexterity, raise our attack power just a little bit. Meditation completed. We do get equipment in this game. You can get weapons and elbow pads and helmets and stuff like that. Uh, the character that I got to play at PAX East was pretty kitted out. Like he had all kinds of like armor and stuff on that he was using for fighting. It was pretty sweet. So avoid while locked. Jump duck or do a sidestep. I don't know if that's what they wanted me to do, but that's what I did. Oof, that lady got knocked out. Damn, that lady got took. Oh, you can actually... Oh, they're saying to pull the mouse. Okay, I see that now. Gotcha. So you jerk the mouse real fast, and it'll actually pull you to the side real quick to get out of the way of an enemy's attack. Alright, I wonder if that's going to be important for this guy over here, Salon, or whatever his name is. Is this Salon? This has got to be Salon. Let's do this thing. Oh, I tried to get out of the way. I wanted to do the little jo I wanted to do the dodgy attack thing. Ooh, I turn into shadows, bro. I turn into shadows. You don't even know. Yup, I'm a ninja of good renown. I'm a ninja of good intention. Nobody knows. Ow. Damn. Taking those L's right now. And those B's. And those knees. Ooh, got him. Down he goes. Can I loot him? Did I get anything from that? Oh, he looked like he had special gear. Like he had like a bullet vest on. It was kind of a janky bullet vest. It wasn't a bullet vest that I would trust with my life. But it was a bullet vest nonetheless. So can I climb up anywhere around here? Or can I like jump over a wall to get back to the place I want to be quickly? No? Well, then I'll just do my meditation then. Meditation. Meditate. Meditatus. Ooh. We get way more for dexterity. I think I'll probably go for a little bit of vitality, though. I don't know if it's worth it. Like, I don't know if this is like Dark Souls, where you just want to boost a ton of stamina and then focus on a main stat, or what I want to do here. Willpower is the quantity of tension stored in the shard while doing a successful defensive ability. Okay, I'm not very successful at defensive abilities so far, so I think I'm going to stay away from that. Let's just go. I'm going to be more dexterous. I want to be able to, like, I don't know, do the splitzes or something. All right, so we've got that all locked in. We haven't been invaded yet, instantly, or er, interestingly enough. Normally, I'm ready to get invaded right about now. I got invaded a ton when I was playing over at, at PAX. I'm pretty sure they set it up that way. But, like, I was getting invaded all the time while I was fighting other stuff, just being like, oh, shit, it's another player. And then we had to throw down and, like, PvP each other. And I'd be like, wah! And I'd put the nux on them, and they'd be like, oh, you put the nux on me. And I'd be like, that is a clear assessment of this situation and what has just happened. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? I am Talem. I will try to help you progress, but if you lose yourself to the fold, I won't be able to save you. Okay. Those who wear the mask are not all your enemies, you know. I will not attack you. That's cool, because you've got, like, neck beads and stuff, and that makes me think you're better at fighting than me. When you are safe, you can enter meditation and practice your combat deck. So we can go here, we can go to meditation, and our combat deck is right here. And so we can say... We can chain these together, I think, is what it comes down to. I was able to do it when I was playing the preview uh, over in Boston, and it was pretty sweet. Like, you get, like, a combo based on bare... Like, you get combos based on weapons, you get combos based on your hands. Like, it's pretty sweet, and then there's other stuff that you can do, too. It's pretty funsies. They did a pretty good job with it. It's one of those games that I could tell there's a lot of depth to, and people are going to spend a lot of time trying to set up their decks and whatnot, get it so they can shoot people out in PvP. I'm going to back up, because I feel like I'm about to catch you up. I was going to say, I really feel like I'm about to catch hands if I stay right here. Ah. Oh, he kicked his own dude. Good. Ow. No, stop kicking me. You guys in your legs. I am not going to allow this. You guys need to go. This is not a fair fight. I'm all outnumbered and stuff right now. This is not Anabaru. You guys need to bring your Anabaru levels up. Anabaru! Alright, let's keep going. I can rush if I press R. Okay. That's good. We can move through the level a little bit faster if we want to. Let's bail out to the next zone and see what it's got for us. It looks pleasant enough. It doesn't look like a place where bad stuff's going to happen, so I guess screw it. I'm sure it'll be all right.
So I didn't want to point it out, but what's up with the butt charcoal that I'm currently smuggling? Like, why am I butt smuggling charcoal? I need a storyline derivative. I need something to be like, listen, this is the reason why you're butt smuggling charcoal at the moment. And I'd be like, okay, that's fine. I will butt smuggle charcoal for a good cause all day long. But I'm not just going to do it to do it, you know what I mean? I try to keep the booty tight and all that. Pretty waterfall. Surely nothing bad could happen next to such a beautiful waterfall. I bet you all kinds of bad stuff's going to happen. I bet most of it's going to be people trying to hurt me. I bet almost every single aspect of it is going to be somebody trying to punch me. People try to punch me. It's a natural response. I think I've just got one of those faces or something. I don't really know. It seems entirely possible that I might just be really punchable. Who are you? And why are you standing there? Are you holding a piece of wood? No. I thought he was holding like a piece of wood. He's going to smack me with a 2x4 or something. To become an absolver, you will have to prove your worth and defeat Rizrin in the Hanging Gardens in the Tower of Adal. Okay. Here's a better question. Where do I get a rock and necklace like that? But first, you must beat Coretz in Colosseum. Kill Nor and her brother Cargill in the old birdhouse. And the six marked ones roaming the city and the forest. Okay. Only then will the stone gate of the Imperial Tower open. Alright. Apparently that's my goal. The headstone will show your remaining targets. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of a ninja assassin right now. Beware of these foes. They will not die easily. I don't know if I'm killing them. Defeated easily, I guess, is the better terminology. But I don't know. For some reason, killing them makes me feel better. Just making sure they're not going to come back and get me after this. What happens at the altar? What does this do? Oh, I can just, like, meditate here. I've got you. Okay, so we've got an attribute point. I'll probably throw that into... Let's go with a little bit more endurance. I want to make sure we don't run out of stamina at any time during our fights. If I can make sure that we can just keep... It seems like if you can keep a good combo going, you'll eventually break their guard, and they just won't be able to do much about it. So stamina is going to play into that. It also makes it so they'll gas out before they can break my guard, I think. Uh, a lot of the things in this game are a little bit cryptic, and you've got to figure them out on your own. I'm sure guides will come out later on from the people that are going to play this game, like, obsessively. I, I might be one of those people. I don't know. Kung Fu fighting dudes is pretty fun. Sometimes you got to get out there and just be like, woo, and you got to get them. You got to channel your inner Bruce Lee. The Central Harbor. Well, this place looks a little wrecked up. I think this place might need some maintenance. Yo, what's up, random individual? I know you're going to try and fight me, so we might as well get going with this now. I see no reason why we shouldn't just, like, throw down right this second. There we go. Oh, you thought that was going to happen, but nope. Oh, got him. And down goes my enemy. Caught him with a karate chop to the neck. Did you see that? That was like, whoo, tap right to the side of the neck. Just, like, sat her down. I'm like, damn, son. You didn't have to go in like that. How many enemies are down here? Just this guy over here. I'm going to fight everybody that I see. Because it seems like, a, oh, this guy's got, okay, I see you. What's up, Top Knot? What's up, Top Knot? You about to be unconscious, Knot. Yup. Not conscious. Ooh, I can knock you into water, too. Plus 400, okay. I gotta get some gear, man. These guys look awesome. How come I don't look awesome? Ow. Ow, ow. Oh, no. I don't think I want to be between these guys. Uh, let me... That one seems more aggressive to me. The yellow one definitely seems more aggressive, so I'm going to go with the yellow one first. That one ran up first, but, like, I want them to line up. Like, I'm not going to stand here and get beat on from both directions. It's just not going to happen. Nope, not that one. That one, there you go. That's the one that I wanted. Ooh, I broke a thing on the wall. Ooh, with that flying kick. Oof. Almost fell in the water right there, but it's okay. Whatever. Oh, we get X oh we get HP back whenever we defeat guys too. I wonder if the XP plays into that. Like we get the amount of HP back that we get in XP, or like how that works. But that's pretty sweet. When do I get a sword though? This fighting with my hand stuff is for the birds. Sometimes you gotta. Sometimes you gotta upgrade a little bit just to make sure you make it out of this and they don't. All right, here we go. Oh, they backed off. They definitely try to surround you. 100% they try to surround you. Dude, you better get that guard up out of my face. Yup. I'm gonna keep this combo going, son. You think I'm gonna back off, but nope, it's just gonna be heavy strikes all day. Oh no, ran out of stamina, now I'm getting kicked. Ooh, she ducked under my shit. Damn. Okay, alright, alright. Oh, I walked right into that one. 
Ooh. Got that back open now. Yup. Ooh. The impacts in this game have such force, like you can feel it, like the sound effect that they've coupled with the way that the animation plays out. Like when you catch somebody in the plexus in this game, it's just like whoop, and you go like, oh, I can feel it. I'm just like, oh, caught that nasty L right there. Open the cairn. What did I get? Scout Elite Plates. Let's go ahead and see if we can equip these right here. So with these Scout Elite Plates, what are those going to do for me? So my weight is going to go up, but it is going to give me blunt and cut resistance. In fact, it's going to give me a pretty substantial amount of blunt and cut resistance. And we get awesome shoulder pads, and we look like we might be part of some military structure somewhere. That's cool. I'm feeling that. I need a helmet is what I need. I need a sick-ass helmet with, like, some horns on it. Or, like, some feathers. Or maybe, like, some paladin wings. Or something like that. I really feel like, deep down, that's what I need. And if I can't get that, then I'm, like, failing as a kung fu fighter. I don't know how often, like, winged helmets play into kung fu. But I need it. I need it a lot. Shotokan. Anybody in here want to fight me? If you don't fight me, you just might like me, but just don't bite me, because that might fright me. Mm. Definitely don't Skype me right now. I'm in the middle of a recording. Oh, shit. Who is this? Oh, this dude came out of left field like he was hiding in some bushes. How are you going to hide in bushes? That ain't right. That is not the spirit of Onabaru. Oh, get out the way. Get out the way. Oh, this guy's tough. Oh, I'm out of stamina, though. I gotta back up for a minute. Lamrin. We're about even right now. I think I could take him. I think I could take him. Oof. I don't like that side dodge. That side dodge does not work the way I expect it to. Like, it's just not far enough. So if the attack has any form of sweep whatsoever, like, if the attack goes in... Oof. That was a pretty cool exchange. The choreography right there, though. Yup, he tried to go in heavy. Oh, nope, got me with a little heal right there. Time to counter. Alright, get away from him. Let's get a little gap right here. I think I could take this dude. It's just that, like, we're playing it real close right now. Oof. No! I ain't going down like this. I ain't going down like this. It is not going to be that time of day, dude. I am not going down like this. You better back up off me. Oh. Oh, no. No. Oh, Jesus. That fight was terrible. He got some good combos in right there while I was learning his patterns that just did not work out. So I have to fight everybody on my way back in? Like, is it like Dark Souls where you got to, like, mash your way back through? Oh, it is. I'm not a big fan of that. I'll be honest with you. I dislike that strongly. Like, I don't like it when games force you to re-clear shit you've already done just because you, like, got killed. It's one of those things where it's about respecting the player's time. I feel like games that do that have no respect for the fact that, like, a lot of gamers are adults and don't have, like, nine hours to replay some shit over again that they already did. It's just like, eh. And I know there will be the normal get good comments there, but it's a, it's a gameplay design strategy that I've found to be like, eh. I'm very lukewarm about it, just because, like, on any given day, I have, like, 25 minutes to play a game that's not in some way related to the work that I'm doing. And so, I don't want to spend any portion of that 25 minutes redoing something that I've already done. Oh, he got me with that fast attack. I gotta take this guy. This dude needs punishment, like... It seems like he doesn't do much when it comes to... Oof, got out of the way of that one. He tried to open up a combo right there. I'm gonna swap back into this stance right here. I thought I heard something moving in the bushes for a second. Somehow, that miraculously still landed. That thing had reach on it. I'm going to try and keep him backed up. No, I'm going to fight you, dude. It's just the, the combat is mobile. Ah, he somehow got that off, too. Man, his moves are faster than mine, I think. That might be related some way to the speed that I have right now. Uh, go back into main stance. There we go. All right, dude, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Let's go. Oh, with the counter, I ate one right there, but sometimes you got to eat a hit to get a hit. He tried to get out of the way of that, but... All right, stay back, stay back, stay back. We got this guy. We got him. We're going to put this dude down. Here we go. He's going down, down, going to punch on your face. Doesn't matter that you've got a tiki mask now. I'm going to punch your face with my fists. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
I got this dude. I got this dude. That's right. I'm just letting you know what's in store so you can find out. Oh. Last thing you want to do is let him get multiple combos off on you in a row, though. That's a terrible mistake. I'm going to go ahead and block on that one. And then once he's... Yeah, do your thing, man. Do your thing. I don't think it's going to save you, but do your thing. Do your thing. I don't know how to use my special abilities. I don't think they went into that just yet. How do I use my special abilities? It's not arrow keys. Ah, it's the one key. Okay, so I store up energy, and it looks like I can heal myself, too. That's pretty badass. Is there a Karen? Oh, there is. There's treasure over here. Let's go get the treasure. Let's go get the treasure. Let's go get the treasure. Uh, hunter pads. So it looks like those are knee pads, maybe, or elbow pads. I also let... Oh, wow, I leveled up a bunch. Okay. Let's go one in vitality. We'll go one in endurance, and we'll go one in dexterity. Then... As soon as that meditation is finished off, we'll go to our equipment menu, and we've got elbow pads, huh? Damn, those elbow pads are dope as fudge. Let's go ahead, and I'm gonna throw some. I'm gonna throw some elbow pads on. I don't give a damn, dude. I'm gonna be walking through here like armored as all hell. They're gonna be like, "Is this dude in the right game? He looks kind of like a paladin right now." And I'm like, "You're damn right, I do. I ain't trying to get punched in my head right now. I'm too beautiful to get hit. That's why we're all out here dressed like Vega, hoping we don't get hit in our nose so that it gets all bent up and shit." We're trying to be careful, man. You can't be having them long-term scars. This game's called Absolver. If you like what you saw so far, you know what to do. Stomp your feet, clap your hands, leave likes and comments. Let me know you want to see a little bit more. This is my gameplay first impressions, which are remarkably positive. I like the game a lot. Uh, the little things like the having to fight everything over again whenever you lose, that's small stuff that I realize people are going to disagree with. And so, like, I would never count that as part of, like, the scoring of the game against it because that's just a stylistic thing. It's something that I personally don't prefer, but, you know, I don't think it's something to ding a game on. So take that whole diatribe aside and don't think that's my only complaint. Uh, uh-oh. I think there's PvP coming. Somebody entered the area. It said Isaac Baby. Hmm... Who is Isaac, baby? We gotta wait and see if we can jump this fool. Where's this dude at? I'm gonna go find this guy. I'm gonna find this guy and light him up. I want you. Yup. Oh, here he comes, too. Here comes the PvP. Yep, there he is right there. Hold on. Let me see if I can drop somebody over here. I will wait for him. I will be honorable, and I will wait for him to finish his fight, and then we will duel. Wah! Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Wah! We will do PvP. Great and honorable PvP. Whoa. Are we not fighting? I guess we're not fighting. Do you want to fight? Does anybody want to fight me? I guess we're just standing around looking at each other. Ah! He's got a shiv! Run! Homie got a knife! That's just not honorable. I'm jumping in on this one. This dude don't even know. Pull a knife. Come on. Don't pull a knife. This is a fist fight, bro. This is a fist fight. Let's go. Woo! Oops, that was my bad. I have struck my ally. What? Yeah. That was punishment for pulling a knife. He had to pay. Ooh, got him. What does he have? Can I pick up it? Ooh, he's got a knife. Hell yeah. Now I got a blade. Well, this is Absolver. I will see you all later. Thanks for stopping. Is this dude going to try and steal my knife now? He's going to try and steal my knife, isn't he? Please don't steal my knife. I can see his ginger eye. I can see his gingery eyes glinting in the darkness. He wants to steal my knife. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.